Drama, drama. We are gonna talk about how to live a drama-free life. Don't even get me started. So many of us struggle with so much drama. It causes us stress. It makes our life worse. And we want to know how to live drama-free. And I'm here to help. What is drama? A constant source of conflict or messiness between people. Honestly, drama is kind of anything that makes your life look like any one of the Kardashians. If that's what it looks like, you have drama. Some drama is just unavoidable. But there's some drama that's created by our own actions. Today, I'm going to teach you some skills and some tips to help your life be as drama-free as possible. Number one. Plain and simple, the number one way to get rid of drama in your life is to want it. Drama can be exciting. When life gets boring, you want to jump into a conflict, you want to stay connected to people, you want to be up in everybody's business. Even the stress can kind of keep us entertained. But if you truly want healthy friendships, you have to say bye to the thrill that drama creates. Number two, and this can be such a difficult one for me, I can't even tell you, but every problem is not your problem. Let's say a friend, we'll just call her Shelby, comes to you and starts to talk about a problem that she has with another one of her friends. This is a red flag. Listen, pay attention. This is the first trap that drama is gonna try to reel you in. It may seem like the nice thing to try to figure out the situation or to take sides or to help them figure it out. It's not your job to fix other people's conflicts. Number three. Be authentic slash be honest. Be the same person no matter who you're with or where you are. Be the same with your grandma, with your best friend, with your teachers, with your cat. It will save you the anxiety and the drama created by having to remember how you act in each different situation. Just be honest. Sometimes it can seem like the better, easier solution to twist a story or to tell a little lie to get out of a mistake that you've made. But instead, by cultivating the virtue of honesty, you can own your mistakes and then you won't have to go through the effort having to remember which lies you told. All right, last one. And this one might be the most important one of all. We need to reinvent the way we vent. The problem with venting is a lot of times it says some really unfair and really unkind things about other people. A good rule of thumb, not say anything behind someone's back that you wouldn't say to their face, even if you're angry or even if you're frustrated. A good tip to try instead of just venting our feelings out is to one, journal. Journaling can be great. It gives you an opportunity to take these thoughts and emotions and turn them into prayers. Uh, a way that you can ask God to step into these difficult situations and really make your life drama free. Thank you guys so much for coming to this episode of The Ripple Effect. I'm praying for all of you guys to live a drama-free life. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to hit us up in the comment section. All right, see you guys next week.